If we cut through here, we ought to reach the highway somewhere near Corbet. How long do you figure we'll be sitting there before we jump off here? Oh, a couple of days, maybe. Esther says the Nazis have pulled back as far as Milan, about three miles further east. Yeah, but did anybody tell the Nazis? Why don't you take the other flank? As soon as you're set, we'll signal squads. Move out. Right. No hot chow for 72 hours. Hey, how quiet does it have to get before they send the kitchens out? If ripen, it's too quiet. Freddy, you just broke your own world's record. Oh, <laughs> look at that blister. I told you to clutch it, its own nails. Here. Hey, thanks. Millions of guys in this army are gonna team up with a meatball like you. <laughs> Must be your maternal instinct, pal. Hey, I'll bet your kid doesn't know who his mother is, you or Peggy. He knows, all right. Will you see her? You think Betty Grable's something? And can she cook? After this is over, when you visit us, she'll make you the best Italian dinner in Jersey City. Hey, that sounds great. All right, on your feet. Wait for my signal, then move out. Skirmish down. All right, son. Hey, you see all those trucks we passed? Just once, just once, why couldn't we move up sitting down?
Move back! Now who got us into this snafu? Shut up. How'd you get pinned down here? You fell on me, you big ox. That's the thanks I get. I thought you were hit. Get down. Well, what are we doing now, Lieutenant? Flesh has to our compliments. We're too far from that cover over there. We'll have to hang on here. I'll see if I can get him to throw some artillery on, on that tank. Get me Maxwell with the radio. Where is he? He's out there, Lieutenant. I saw him go down by the gate. Who else? Shimano? Shimano and Wharton. There's nobody there. They must have come back to the wall. Yeah. How do we? Not with that coffee grinder up there. Look, if we can knock that thing out. Oh, yeah, sure. What not I think of that? Knock off the tank? What are you, nuts? Don't forget you're a married man, Vince. I'm thinking about That's that. That's right, sir. Take the odds we wind up on a PW camp. I'm not sitting here waiting for a blast from that 88. Look, there's a ditch we can crawl through. Oh, wait a minute. We don't have a chance, Vince. Come on. That... We've got to stay here. Look, let go, will you? Just stay behind if you want, but cover me, all right? Just cover me. Okay, but it's crazy, Vince. You're just plain crazy.
Ah, uh, Vince. I'll get him. I'll, I'll get him, Vince. I'll get him. I'll get him. Oh, I'll get him, Vince. He really did a job on him, didn't he? I'm telling how many more of them are around here. What they cover in that barn over there. Send somebody back from Axel's radio. Right. If it's out, I'll have to send a runner back to report. We find out if they want us to keep going or not. You're a regular one-man army, Wharton. We're tied in at both flanks. Brockmire and Baker are listening posts. How was he? Still in a coma. We ready her for a jeep ambulance. Hand stretch would be too rough and not fast enough. I want to talk to you. Warden's taking it pretty hard, isn't he? Well, they all are. They got a big kick out of watching those two chew each other out. I think this platoon needs a lift. How about two weeks in London? You are a dreamer, Sergeant. I've been carrying this thing around for a couple of days. It's a directive from division to all unit COs. It is vital to good morale that decorations be awarded promptly and on an equitable basis. So? I'm putting Wharton in for a silver star. Any objections? It's up to you, Lieutenant. Well, that whole group has been slugging it out together since D-Day. I think it's about time one of them got some recognition. I'm the wrong man to talk to. Nobody's in this for the, for the glory unless he's a psycho. They're just doing their job. Whatever happens, it's all in a day's work. I've got nothing against Wharton. I just think that it's tough to pick one man out above all the rest. Well, the Army doesn't agree with you. Yeah, well, that's, um, that's happened before. You know that tank could have wiped us all out? Besides the crew, I counted 17 dead Germans. Now, you didn't kill them. I didn't kill them. Wharton did. I think he rates a salute. Okay, Lieutenant. That's why the records are written. For compliance. Recommendations may be submitted in letter form. Lucid reporting, not flowery generalizations, will be most likely to achieve the desired recommendation. Get Wharton in here. Wharton? Wharton? Lieutenant wants you. Yes. 
an hour. Look, I know how you feel about the motto. Ordinarily, I wouldn't question you about this now, but I want to get it nailed down. I'm writing a letter of recommendation for Silver Star. Oh, Silver Star, huh? Now, the facts were self-evident when we reached the tank, but I'd like you to tell me in your own words exactly what happened. I don't know if I can, but uh, everything happens so fast, I'm kind of mixed up. Well, try to sort it out. You know, we've only got one eyewitness, and he's in there in a coma. Eyewitness? The motto. And I'm afraid we can't count on him for much cooperation for you. Me? Well, before they pin a silver star on you, they check up pretty thoroughly. Well, why should they give me a silver star? I didn't do anything to deserve it. Lieutenant, it's the motto. He just came to. All right, take it easy, Demar. What? Ready? your mail, Sergeant. It's on the front seat. Mm. Men all fed? Yes, sir. Some of them twice. Him I lost count on. Uh, beef stew, Lieutenant. How's your appetite? I'll uh, let you know after I taste it. Better feed up. Room service around here is very regular. for you. Oh, yeah? Classy looking dame. What are you drawing her away for? You too. Personally, I got three there, Johns. So don't work yourself into a sweat, huh? You got lots of company. Let me alone. Look, why don't you look at it this Let way? Let me alone.
58 Grenadiers Regiment. Yeah. Same bunch we tanker with the St. Lowe. Yes, sir. Oh, Wharton. You know, you did a great job yesterday. Nobody's going to think you're a blowhard if you talk about it. What's the matter? Don't you want a decoration? Big brass band at the station. Welcome home, hero. Hell, I believe they'll elect you to public office. Okay, Lieutenant. What do you want to know? Well, there's no living eyewitness, but those dead Germans should be proof enough for anybody. The one thing I don't understand yet is how did you get to the tank? Through the ditch. Where? Show me. Right here. I crawled up this way. How far? Well, about 30 or 40 yards. I never thought I'd make it to that bridge. What did you use to get the machine gunner? My rifle. And I dropped a grenade down the turret hatch. And when the rest of the crowd rushed me, I turned the gun around and let them have it. How far were you from them when you opened up? How far? Oh, about <clears throat> 20, 30 yards. Half the crowds went down right away, and the rest of them kept rushing me. That gun was hot and buckling, but I hung on and flashed them away, knocking them off. A couple of them got right up to the tank before they finally turned around and hightailed it out of there. I tried to get them, but they got away, I guess. I wanted to get them all. Nelson has checkmate king of the radio, sir. Urgent. Where was Damato? He, uh... I left him back in the ditch covering me. He must have run out to see if he could help. You know the kind of guy he was. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Anything else, Sarge? You better save it for the lieutenant. This is his idea. He knows how I feel about it. How do you feel about it? Look, don't get me wrong. Nobody has more respect for bravery on the fire than I have. I've seen a lot of it right here in this platoon. Oh, you just don't like the idea of me being the only one recommended for it, is that it? No, it's nothing personal, Wharton. It's just that if the Army's giving out medals, I'd like to see them all get one. All right, the plan's the same. We move up through Corbeil, occupy the railroad station in Milan. The only thing changes the time. It's been pushed up to 0900 hours. Saddle them up, Sergeant. I'll get back to this as soon as I have a chance, Wharton. On the double. Keys wants a quick ammo route open as fast as possible. Get the wire spreaders. Bang on the man! On the double! Say it, General John, you're down with Lieutenant Mike the street. Ward Nelson, you tell it from the other side. Play it right in there. You ready, sir? All right, move back right away. Fuse it. engineers this is their job hey, what do you want a union card come on there's a war on lieutenant yeah uh, that letter after you write it i mean where do you send it up through channels the division commander was well, he the one that passes on it i mean the final word <laughs> that's right cover me i'm gonna take a look down there Welcome, Morton. We'll write that letter for you. Are you all right, Lieutenant? You okay? We can't do anything from here. He's in the wine shop! The wine 
Mannschaft! I must have got a way through the alley back there. Might as well finish the wire job. All right, I'll check down there. Come on, Warden. Shouldn't I stick with you, Lieutenant? Oh, you go with him. You need it up there. Warden, don't press your luck. That was a pretty foolhardy thing to do, running across an open street like that. We don't want to lose you. What good is a medal if a guy's not around to collect it? Yes, sir. The last Germans pulled out a few minutes ago. We're checking the yard now for stragglers. Out. No booby traps, sir. Good. Baker, stay on the door. Brockmeyer, watch the other one. Nelson, stay on the ground box. Car is burning itself out. I'll post the security in the sheds. What about the other platoons? They're cleaning up and they'll dig in out there. Yeah, they took some prisoners. Yeah, casualties? I don't know, platoon, a couple of scratches, that's all. Doc took care of it. Good. With any luck, we get a few hours shut eye. Occasion little John are casing some of the other freight cars, which leaves us Wharton. Did you see him? Anybody see Wharton? That's in the counter for. <laughs> hey, what time's next train leave for Palm Beach? What happened to you? We were supposed to rendezvous at the train shed. I came up the wrong line of the cars. By the time I doubled back, you guys are gone. So you set this one up? The switch partners, Sarge. Some third platoon Joes came by and I went with them. Hey, they're rough. All right, Sergeant, get off this back. Wharton, I haven't forgotten about the letter. Lieutenant. Prisoner, sir. We caught him in a freight car. He speaks English. Bring him in here. That's how it goes. 58 Grenadiers. Your information is evidently as correct as ours. You are members of the 361st Infantry. We are old adversaries. Battalion and company. If you were my prisoner, lieutenants, I should not expect you to supply such details. Where are your men? Why didn't you leave with them? They would not have left if I had been here, I assure you. Where were you? On patrol. I heard you attack. When I returned, the position had unfortunately already changed hands. Where are the men were on patrol with you? The sentry sent them back for more reinforcements. What do we do with them, Lieutenant? We don't want them with us here, that's for sure. Uh, according to the Geneva Convention... I know all about that. You speak English pretty well. I taught it at Nuremberg. Perhaps you are a university man also, Lieutenant? Let's forget the old school ties. Now, war has made us enemies, but as a fellow officer, I have nothing but respect for you and your men. They'll be glad to hear that. It is no disgrace to be captured by men of the 361st. Why, just two days ago, we lost a tank and half my platoon to one of them. You were there? You saw it? I led the men myself. I was one of the few who 
actually reached a tank. Then you two know each other. You was on it. Recognize him? In our army, he would have received the highest decoration. The Iron Cross, first degree. Well, in our army, he's going to have to settle for a little old silver star. But I think he'll take it. Won't you, Wharton? Yes, sir, I'll take it. Keep your eye on him. A lieutenant. May I smoke? Light, please. I thought he was going to kiss him on both cheeks. That's French, you dope. That's Warden's eyewitness. Nick Kraut's a real flannel mouth. S2 could pump him dry. I think we're going to send him back. May have some information they can use right now. What do you want to go with him? Saunders, this is very important. You do it. Take somebody with you. Warden, in case you get into trouble, you can count on him. Make it back as fast as you can. If the Nazis counterattack, we're going to need every man we can get. Lieutenant, you're going for a little walk. Where are you taking me? Might I remind you that the Geneva Convention yeah, specifically... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's all right. We're taking you to an alumni meeting in Nuremberg, you. You too, Wharton. Me? Yeah. God of honor. Let's go. Scientifically, I thought it would be impossible until I saw you again. What are you talking about? I've often heard of men in battle whose hair turns white overnight, but I did not believe it. Ah, shut up. Two days ago, you uh, were taller. Much taller. How tall are you now? Same as I was two days ago. Uh, it's an amazing transformation. Your face. I only saw it for a moment, but I should never forget it. It was dark, swarthy, typically Latin. You know, you're not scores. You must be blind as a bat. <laughs> On the contrary, I have perfect vision. You weren't anywhere near that tank. I didn't see you. Well, naturally, you were not there. Oh, yeah? Well, it's your word against the lieutenants. This decoration of yours, it uh, means nothing to me if you receive it or not. Then shut up about it. Perhaps I will. But when the lieutenant superiors interrogate me, they seem so very well informed about the movements of my regiment. If they should question me about the action two days ago, well, as a German officer, what could I do? If I tell them the truth, I say if. 
including the incident of the machine gun, and described the man I saw. Oh, you're asking for it, Coors. Nobody's going to take that silver star away from me, you hear? Nobody. You know, I could say you tried to escape. Yes. Yes, you could shoot me. But there's a better way for us both. Let me escape. But shoot yourself in the leg. Say we fought for the gun and you were wounded in the struggle. You would be transferred to hospital, out of danger. Perhaps even invalided home, with your silver star. The war would be over for you. You would be a hero. Even greater. A wounded hero. But be quick, the sergeant will be back and then it will be too late. be a cripple for the rest of my life, huh? That is a chance you must take. Men have wounded themselves before in battle many times without suffering serious injury. Now, believe me, there is nothing else for you to... Now, two of us now. There's a patrol out there. Get down. I see. Ah! Maybe I'll move on. We'll hole up in here. Is that all right with you? Hero. Listen, Sarge, but shut up! for a lousy medal. The motto is your pal, huh? You turn my stomach. Takes care of him. Now, what about me? Hey, Sarge, you don't understand.
Lieutenant! Someone's coming! Oh! It's Saunders and Wharton, Lieutenant! Come on in. Thanks for pulling me off that wire. Hey, you don't have to say that. So. Come on. You lost a lot of blood. Give me a hand! You're still with us, kid. Get the stretcher. You'll be all right. That arm won't ever be much use to him. He's had it. You'll be back with us in a month. That's what the man says. Lieutenant? That letter. Now you just rest, Wharton. I'll take care of everything. Lieutenant. Let him talk. <sighs> you put it down like I said. <sighs> the name. Change the name. Make sure those medics wait outside. I don't read you. What name should it be? The model. Vince D'Amato. I was in the ditch when I killed all those men. After he died, I got bad news. I had to be a big man when I got home. How could I do it to him? He wasn't ever gone. All he had left was a memory of what he did. I tried to steal it. The metal can't do him any good now. I know Peggy. It's his wife. And a kid. Hey, his name's Vincent, too. Maybe when they look at the metal and remember it, bring him back for a little bit. The only way the dead ever come back. You gotta get that medal for them. I'll do that. Thanks. heroes, Lieutenant. You tell me, Sergeant. You tell me.